this is Carrie Fell and welcome to my studio. Today I thought I'd take you on a walk through one of my sketchbooks. This is a nice hardcover sketchbook with watercolor paper so I can make it very wet and the paper recovers beautifully. This is a flower box at my parents house. Just getting used to using watercolors. I recognize this immediately as being their backyard. This too is their backyard. My mom and dad's yard. They have uh, an antler hanging on a tree. <laughs> it would be a caribou antler. This too is their backyard. To get out onto the public paths, you go from their yard around the edge of the fence and over here onto the public paths. Go wandering through the woods. Down, this is Ha Ling and the pass that leads up into Kananaskis. This is the this is Eeyore, the east end of Rundle. And uh, this is the view from the hospital. I was sitting outside with my mom one afternoon and we both had our sketchbooks and we were recording what we saw. And then I tried a scene off just to the left of the previous one, the three sisters. This one is done in just ink. Chinese ink stick. So this is an ink stick. And it is just a solid hard piece of ink, I guess. It um, it doesn't work to to use it directly. It doesn't it won't make a mark. So what you do is you take one of these containers. This is a uh, soapstone, I believe, and you put a little bit of water in here and you rub your ink stick around in it, and it will dissolve in here and create ink. And I don't know why there's a little hole here. Someone who knows better than me can let me know how that's used. So I, uh, I ground up my ink stick and uh, dipped my paintbrush in and painted this scene here. There, then I tried an experiment after that. And what I did was I did a drawing in um, oil pastel and I did the oil pastel first and leaving some white paper and then I washed some ink over top of the, um, the painting after it was done and the ink filled in all the dark areas, I mean all the light areas, made them dark to give it a bit of dimension. So what I like about this is you can do the drawing with the pastel and then um, so you don't have the white of the paper peeking through making it look unfinished. A good wash will um, deepen everything and get rid of that white paper. And the more space you leave the more dark areas you get. So this is the first one I did and it was pastel with the Chinese ink like the previous one. I wanted it a lit, little darker, um, the, found the Chinese ink to be a gray rather than a black. So I did another one, another mountain scene. This is at the end of Lake Louise. There's a little stream and glaciers. And this one is oil pastel and Schaefer ink jet black. So I found the jet black was nice and dark. 
still experimenting. I tried a prairie landscape and it looks like I didn't leave enough white to be stained by the ink. I just filled it with the pastel. And this is with indigo watercolor um, as the wash. Tried it again using a little bit more white being left. Let's see, that's the watercolor. Yes, this is oil pastel and indigo watercolor. I quite like the look of this one. Just the right amount of white paper was left to be stained by the watercolor. Another painting of the three sisters, same technique, oil pastel, and then washed over this time with acrylic. I used the Payne's Gray Acrylic. And this would be good, I think, if you wanted to do uh, sort of the distance and the fog. The, uh, yeah. Another mountain scene. And the wash was done with Chinese ink again. So there's the tail, telltale gray wash. Wanted to go darker again. So here we've got the Bow Falls in Banff. And the wash is, oh, it's, it's gouache this time. So I used a black gouache. And it looks like that I wanted to pick up more of the white um, again after the gouache. And so there are there's some white gouache added on top too with, for the bubbles and the foam of the river. Here we have the three sisters again. This black seems to be sitting on top of the oil pastel more than the others. Let's see what it is. This one is gouache. That's understandable. So gouache is like a watercolor. It's um, more opaque. So it, um, it will sit on top. Same technique on a trip to Puerto Vallarta. Pencil and watercolor also at the resort in Mexico. Back to the oil pastel and black wash. Oh, this looks like Elk Island Park and a beaver hutch in one of the swampy areas. Elk Island Park. I quite like this one. This, um, it's not an original painting. I was inspired by a, another painting that I saw um, in a magazine. It was probably done in, in oils or acrylic or something and I just love their use of color and the flowing lines. So. I tried something similar in my sketchbook with the oil pastel and the, the water flowing down between the rocks. I did not write on the back what I used as the, as the final wash over the whole thing. But I still have lots of pages left in this sketchbook. They, uh, they're nice heavy paper. And so, uh, let me know what you think of this technique. Do you like the uh, the technique of of oil pastel, which with a wash over top and giving it some resist and and sort of a bit of a splatter look? Do you like this? Should I do some more? Should I do some larger ones on paper maybe and and frame them up? Let me know what you think, and let me know which uh, which wash you like best. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it,
give me a thumbs down. That's okay. I can take it. Um, please like and subscribe. If you turn on your notifications, you'll get a message every time a new video was posted. I'm trying to post at least once a week now. And uh, you don't want to miss anything. Thank you for watching.